What's poppin'? It's your boy Moses. I'm on my way to Tijuana right now to TJ in Mexico to interview my uncle Spanky. I'm gonna shoot some like behind the scenes footage type of shit, you know. Uh, I'm gonna try to get into more of that, showing you, showing you guys how I kind of, you know, get these videos to get put together, background stuff. And we're gonna be in TJ, dog. So, you know, I'm gonna show you guys how TJ looks nowadays. Probably get some good food, hang out with my uncle Spanky. A little big up and down. I'm not gonna be there all day. I gotta get back tonight back home but right now it's uh 7 a.m uh, i'm in orange county i'll probably get there around 8 30 so uh stay tuned and we'll see what's cracking in tj today all right i'm also going to be doing a voiceover just to kind of fill you guys in in the blank spots those are the famous chichis right there those two domes that everyone takes pictures of on the way to mexico i want to show you what it kind of looks like it's changed as far as driving into mexico that's my theo spanky my uncle spanky right there uh so before i i did the interview with him uh he wanted to go eat breakfast so I wanted TJ to do a podcast with my Theo, right? So we're walking down the city. He's taking me to his favorite hole in the wall spot for breakfast. He's telling me about how, you know, this, the bit the city's real busy. Everyone's hustling and bustling, trying to get to work, walking and stuff like that. But also things are changing. They're uh, they're building new high rises and condos, which pretty much makes it pretty much seems like they're gonna make it more expensive to live in TJ. Uh, but he said that he still loves it there and that, you know, he's all about that whole deported life. So hashtag deported life. Shout out to my Theo. Right here, we made it to the Mercado. Mercado just means market. So this is where people get their groceries, their medicine, and stuff like that. As you can see, it's fucking spotless. It's clean. It's beautiful. Not what you expect when people talk about TJ. People are always talking down on TJ. I love TJ, man. It's beautiful. The spot's literally a hole in the wall, all in the back of the Mercado. We roll up into the spot. Super nice people. The waitress, everyone that works there was super nice. Uh, this is us looking at the menu, about to order. And as you can see, it says 105 pesos, which translates to like six dollars a plate you can't beat that so you know those are some of the things that we're offering there to eat and then me and my uncle just chopping it up a little bit i was asking them if there's like a lot of people that are from la that live in tj and he goes yeah man there's like thousands and thousands of people that get deported all the time and you know a lot of people are doing good out there because there's jobs especially telemarketing um that pay real good like six seven hundred bucks a week and yeah, there's people smoked out, people like homeless people doing bad and stuff like that. But those are people who don't want to work. If you want to work, TJ is actually a really good place to make money and save money. Salam. Check that shit. That's we got our right plates right here. He got a pechuga, which is like chicken breast stuffed with ham and cheese. I got chilaquiles with carne asada. Let me tell you, man. You're about to see me eat right now. Man, it was gas. Some of the best chilaquiles I've ever had. I'm sure it's because of the ingredients, you know, like... It's super, like, fresh from the farm or whatever, you know. And this is me and my Theo just chopping it up. He's asking me. I'm asking him about his family. He's asking me about the podcast. We just chop it up for a little bit. It was, like, in bunk for a long time. Find him or send a message or go? Well, at first, school, at first, nobody wanted to come in my pod because nobody was watching it. Still, it's still not even that big. But, like, on Instagram, the way I make the clips, like, I've had a couple do a million. I've had a couple do 100,000, you know? Most of them get a thousand, two thousand people see. You know, to some people that's a lot. To me, I know if I want to make money, that's not enough. But um, you know, I've had a few that go a million, two million, three million. You know, here every few months. So once that started happening, I would ask fools. They would look at my page and be like, "Yeah, I'm down." Yeah. Well, recently, say about a year ago, I interviewed this rapper. His name is Bozo. He's from Pico Nuevo. So he has a lot of followers. I interviewed that fool, and I, on YouTube, I usually get 100 views. I got 20,000. And that shit, like, set me on a course where I wasn't really trying to focus on gangster rap, Mexican rappers, or cholos from prison or whatever, tattoos or tattoos. But that set me on this course of, like, okay, now I got to interview this other fool and his homies, and then the old school homies, homies, homies. So lately, I've been on this, like, I, I interviewed some fool that did 29 years, 19 years. Yeah, the other fool, the other fool, the other fool his name is Thank You Lopo. I don't know if you had Apple too. I also don't want to, like, you know, say the wrong thing or explain it too much. You know, I just ask a little bit. I don't go too into detail. You feel me? Like, what's going on in there, whatever. Uh, so, nombre, como se llama su tienda? Y... Mi nombre es Genaro y restaurante Amado. Comida right rápida, cool comida man. corrida, casera, estilo guerrero. Hey, los platos que se venden más aquí. Carne asada, chilaquiles, milanesa, caldo tralpeño. Uh, this is us making it back to his tattoo shop, walking back through the mercado. Again, man, it's, I'm just so surprised that people talk shit about TJ, bro. Look how clean it looks. Like, 
They got the crickets and everything out there, all the food, spotless. You can tell the people out there really take care of the city. Obviously, the, the infrastructure, the streets are not that great. But, you know, it's still a poor country compared to the U.S., but, you know, they keep it clean out there. Right now, my deal's telling me how there's so many pharmacies out there. I asked them why. He goes, there's a lot of people from the U.S. that come to Mexico solely just to get their medicine because it's so expensive in the U.S., um, that's why there's a huge market for pharmacies and there's one like on every corner out there in TJ. This is the shop right next to his. They sell merch for like your favorite team and ponchos and stuff like that. Bunch of cool stuff. This is his shop. No mercy tattoos. If you're in TJ, make sure you guys hit up my uncle Spanky. Uh, his tattoo shop is spotless, super professional. You know, he learned his trade over here in the U.S. Took it to TJ and is really blowing up. This is some of the artwork that I found. Some of the artwork he actually made, like these three paintings right here. He actually got down on those. He made those himself. Um, but yeah, hit up my Theo Spanky if you guys want some tattoos. Uh, just to remind you guys, I'm using the GoPro, so the quality is not going to be the greatest when as far as the the camera and the videos. But, you know, we, we still get to do, do what it do. You feel me? Uh, we just finished the podcast. Hashtag deported life. I started that whole deported life thing, not even thinking about misconception that people have of Tijuana, you know? Everything that you hear in the media, especially in the States, it's negativity. You know, I've been here, I've seen more shit in LA in a two year period than all the time I've been here and show people how we live out here, how we're doing it, you know? it's I, I live day by day, but I'm comfortable and I'm, I'm happy with where I am. You know, I'm, I was blessed to get deported. It changed my whole life around and my mentality and it humbled me and I travel, I eat whatever the fuck I wanna eat. I go shopping at Yangi Soberradas and you know, and I got no shame in that, you know? People out here survive with $30, $50 a month and it makes me feel good to put these videos out there so people can see. The reaction I get is, is positive and it's doing is doing what it's supposed to be doing because people are curious and asking now, you know? When back then it was just like, like, oh, TJ's, you know? Now, they, people ask me, hey, I've heard this shit, is that true? It's like, no, it's not like that and shit like that and it makes me feel good, you know? We're headed across the street to Soriana, which is like a market, kind of like Walmart, and I'm picking up some things for the family. I know my son wanted some chips, my mom wanted some coffee, so we're inside the store picking up a few things. Uh, the chips and everything just taste different from from compared to the U.S. in Mexico because they don't really got laws like that when it comes to like food dye and how much fat and grease can go into things. So, you know, man, that's going to make it taste better. Is it healthy for you? Obviously not. Right. But, um, you know, when in Rome. Right here, getting our food scanned. Uh, if you got uh, U.S. dollars, they'll take your U.S. dollars and give you back cash, like U.S. dollars. Or if you have pesos, you can pay pesos. Shout out to his old man right here for bagging our groceries. He was super nice. My deal gave him a nice little tip. And this is us kind of making our way back to the garage where I parked my vehicle. Uh, you know, my uncle knows everybody out there, so he's like the mayor. So every, like, five freaking feet that we were moving, he was running into people, shaking hands, kissing babies and stuff. This is the parking structure where I park my car, super safe place to leave your vehicle. So, you know, you don't have to worry about where you park your car. And this is me making it back to the border. This old dude right here said if I wanted to buy a belt, I said, nah, I'm good. He goes, trust me, trust me, my boy, with no disrespect, I have your size. I said, haha. If you're in TJ, you have to get these. They're the best fucking chips in the world. All right, man, that was a little mini vlog. Make sure you guys check out the podcast I just did with Matthew Spanky out here in TJ. Uh, I'm at the border right now. Uh, I've probably been here for like 25 minutes. Uh, still waiting to cross over. Probably be home about 5. It's about 1.30 right now. So it's not as busy as it's been before, but it's pretty busy, man. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this mini vlog. Comment below if you guys are fucking with them. If you guys want me to do more mini vlogs, let me know. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, pull up, turn up, stay lit. Let's get it.